Hi, my name's Ben, and here I'm going to be showing you how you can solve long division using a pictorial method. It will be really useful if you've watched the previous video showing how to use counters to solve long division, and this is a great precursor before we get into the formal written method. OK, here we have our question. 1495 divided by 23. It's also worth noting that we do a similar method to what we did to the last question, which is to write down the first five multiples of the divisor, in this case 23. OK, so we have to look at how many 23s, how many groups of 23, we can make out of our 1,000 counter. And the answer is zero. So we pull down our counter. We then move to the next column to the right, which is our hundreds column. We now have 1,400. So how many groups of 23 can we make out of 14? Again, the answer is zero. So now we have to move to the tens, the next column to the right, of which we have nine tens. So now we can look at how many groups of 23 we can get out of 149. If we refer to our table, we can see that we can make five groups and we can actually make one group more. Hopefully that's something that you can look at and explore with the children. And one more set of 23 will make it 138. So we can remove six sets. And now we need to take away 138 of our counters. 130, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 138, which leaves us with 100 and 110, which we bring down. We then move into the ones column, where we have five, which means that our number using the place value chart is 115. Again, we look at our chart here, and we can see that 115 is five lots of 23, and we can remove those. Five. And let's subtract these. Now there is nothing left to subtract, therefore we have no remainders. So our answer is 65. 1,495 divided by 23 equals 65. Again, the children will need to use the inverse, their knowledge of multiplication, and look at 23 multiplied by 65 to get 1,495. And that is how we can use a pictorial method to represent and to solve long division problems.